Hi guys. Okay, so this is the one that I was telling you about before. This is the Harvey seatbelt bag, Nightmare Before Christmas, um, skull print. This is my favorite print ever. Now, the Harvey seatbelt bags, of course, they're made of seatbelt material, so they're extremely durable. I think this bag originally released in 2015, I want to say, but it's amazing. It's a small crossbody. Um, my favorite thing to do with this style is to shorten the strap so much that it's more of a shoulder bag than a crossbody. I don't know why I've always done that. I like shoulder totes. I think that's why. Clearly I like totes. So this is the one that I showed you the other day. This is the Monsters Incorporated vacation tote. And then this is the um, large streamline. The large streamline, as you can see, is huge and it's got eight belts. So it is huge and it fits everything. Um, great bag. The Monsters Inc. tote is smaller. Um, I think it's seven belts seven belts and it is smaller um its straps are actually thicker so if you look at the monsters inc vacation tote the straps are thicker whereas the straps on this are much thinner um i love both of these this one i wish it were one of these sizes either of these sizes i would be happy with this one i just freaking love the print and the detailing in Harvey's is amazing. So they've got um, little zipper pulls here. And of course it's Nightmare Before Christmas. And then when you open it up, it's got this wonderful purple lining that has little Jack Skellington's face all over it. And it's just great. It's got pockets in there and a little zipper and it's really hard to see right now. I'm sorry. But anyway, I wish that they would release this print again and put it in a larger size. This is my iPad here. It's not too small. It fits this, but I just wish it were larger. I like fitting everything in my bag. And it will zip up. It's just a tight fit. Mind you, I also have a OtterBox on my iPad for protection. So it's a pretty thick case. But it does fit. It zips up even. So, yeah, it's great. I love it. I just wish they would release it in this or that size. Um, I also love the thicker strap on this one. It's just much more comfortable to me, although most people that I talk to online, they prefer the thinner straps. It's all a matter of preference. I really like the thick straps. Um, so yeah, that's kind of it. There's not really anything else. I just kind of wanted to show them bags and show you the differences and it's late and I should be getting to sleep, but I had originally bought this when I was, when? I don't know, I think it was like four years ago and I actually sold it. So I was really happy to find it again. These two are just amazing. Um, this one's a little too big to fit in a locker at work. It can fit, but you have to fold it and it just, it's awkward and not great. This one fits a little better and then this will fit just fine in a locker, but um, yeah. Anyway, that's it. It's, I love this. I wish that they would release this in other styles. I really wish they would. They came out with this and a bats print in the Nightmare Before Christmas, kind of at the same time. And I really like how this has the, the style does. It has the um, little side zip pocket there. I love that. I wish that these two styles had that. But I love Harvey's and their detailing because this one has Jack Skellington. This one has like Boo's door there. And then on the inside, it's got little Monsters Inc. I don't know how far I can pull that out because I'm actively have my stuff in there. But you can see like Monsters Inc. logos there. It's a little hard to see. I'm sorry. So it's great. Um, I like 
my biggest, the only issue I have with this bag here is the lining. It's this weird nylon material. Whereas, like this one, it's this wonderful fabric liner. And I prefer the fabric liner. I was messaging a friend, she said it was probably because the Monsters Inc. tote is considered a vacation tote. And I guess that means it's like a beach tote. I don't know. I wouldn't necessarily use it strictly for the beach. And my attitude is these bags can go in the washing machine anyway, so it wouldn't have occurred to me that that might be the reason why the lining is different. So, anyway, I just noticed. This one has a D-ring in it. So you can clip your keys to it. That's pretty cool. Didn't notice that before. Hmm. Neat. Anyway, that's my bags. Um, my bags are always changing. I'm usually selling one to pay for another. Rob Peter to pay Paul type of situation. Um, if I had my choice, I would have like, I don't know, 50 of these bags because they've got such great designs. My favorites are the poster tote size. So the ones that are this size. Um, Jungle Cruise, the older one, um, Pirates of the Caribbean, what's the other one, Peter Pan's Flight, and Haunted Mansion. Those are the ones that I'd love to find in this size here. Oh, and the um, spooky Mickey one that's got all the skeletons over it and Mickey on there. And I love that design, but that bag's expensive in reselling market. It's going for like upwards of 450 and I'm never going to afford it at that price. Um, this bag here, they do have some that are Disney print. I kind of like having one that's not a Disney print because it's more of a travel bag to me. And it just, I love Disney, but it feels weird sometimes being an adult and having Disney bags with me. So I kind of like this not being a Disney bag. This one, before I got it, made me really nervous because it was like, oh, it's so bright. And most of my stuff's not. Most of my stuff's pretty dark. Even having this yellow is kind of out of character for me because almost everything is dark. It's just, it's, it's the color I always go for. And um, it's nice having something different. And then the Monsters, Inc. one is just bright and colorful and it's happy and it makes me happy and it fits everything and it's great. And then this one, I just, it's cute. It's a great print. It, I love the print. It's my favorite. I love it. But it's just small. It's not extremely small, but it is small. So anyway, um, yeah, Harvey's makes great bags. I'm going to go to bed. It's late. But anyway, I just kind of wanted to show you my bags there and talk about that. It's, I don't think it's that late. I think it's only like 1030, but I am tired. My neighbors were running motorbikes. They've got a couple of teenage boys. They're adult teenagers, but um, they were out riding motorbikes pretty late last night. And then one of them gets out. He, their hours are different. They operate from like a, until 3 a.m. and then they sleep until like 1. And I'm like in bed by 10 at the latest, usually 11. And then I'm up at 6, 7 in the morning. So it's late. Sometimes I'm up earlier than that. Um, I like getting up early, but I like sleeping too. So it's really kind of what's going on in life. And yeah, I'm tired tonight. But I'm excited about my bags. I have one that'll be arriving Friday, I think. It might come tomorrow. It's last time I looked at tracking, it was still in California, but it hit departed, so it very well could arrive tomorrow. But I'm expecting it Friday, 
and it's the purple rose and I'm very excited about that. I'm complaining about this one being small and it's really like this big, but it's a purple rose and I just thought it'd be a cute bag to have for like a dress if I have to go somewhere and um, just kind of dress up certain outfits. Like this one, although I love it, I wouldn't wear it everywhere. Same with the Monsters, Inc. Same with this one. They all have their occasions that I'm more comfortable wearing them. And I think everybody has that. I was, it's amazing that I'm so fascinated by purses. I was 22 when I was visiting an aunt of mine. And actually we were living there temporarily. My son was like a year old. I was still with my ex. And she pulls this tote out from underneath her bed and she's showing me that she's got like this purse collection. And I'm like, why do you need so many purses? And she's like, well, you can have them for different occasions, you know? And it's like, never occurred to me. My dad raised me. So I carried a little like men's wallet until I was like 19. I only got a purse because I had a kid and it, I couldn't carry everything in the little men's wallet so I got a purse and it was like a cheap Walmart crappy purse and then I just got obsessed with them. Um, couldn't afford any purses and then how did I get into Harvey's? I think I got into I first got into Disney purses because I love Disney. I love Harry Potter more, but I love Disney. And um, I couldn't believe that grown people carried purses that had Disney on it. And how old was I then? I must have been like 26 or so. 25, 26, when I figured that out. And then that was with Dooney and Burke. So I bought one of those cheaply. I actually got one. A friend of mine got one for like $15 from a raffle and they sent it to me as a gift. And it was Disney and I was like, what is this? This is a thing, really? And so I got into it. I went down the rabbit hole and started researching and it was like, wow, there's some cool designs here. And it's acceptable to wear Disney purses or purses with characters on it as a grown person. So I, I got into those and I only bought used, of course, because single mom broke. And um, then I discovered these Harvey's bags through that. And the Harvey's bags I fell in love with because you can wash them. I, stick all my Harvey's bags in the washing machine. Some of them you can't because some of them have cardboard lining in the bottom or um, I'm sure there's other factors. I don't remember what they are, but all of mine are good. I can throw them in the washing machine and let them air dry and they're great. And I love that because I'm really, you couldn't tell by the state of my room, but I'm a germaphobe and I like keeping things clean. and. This just comes out of not having been able to take care of my stuff. I have a family member that's not doing well right now and um, I haven't had time to take care of my stuff. So anyway, I love these bags because I can wash them and they're cute and you can get some that are non-Disney. You can get some that are Disney, you can get some that are really, really Disney, and I love that, and I don't have to worry about them, I don't have to baby them, um, I'm trying to think, what other bags do I have? I have a Michael Kors that I don't use, I have a Dooney and Burke that I don't use, but I always use my Harveys. But I was absolutely amazed that you could have different purses for different occasions, for different outfits. I thought women just 
had one single purse. And I don't spend a lot of money on myself. I buy camera stuff because that's my thing and I'm trying to start a business and um, I'm doing better at that than I am my actual job. But um, purses, I love purses. So that's like the only thing I really collect, purses. And then I sell purses to buy other purses. So I don't even really collect those. And I can't justify having like multiple in a style. So I can't have, like if, if these were the same exact size, I wouldn't have all of them. I would sell every one of them except for one because I can't justify having multiple in the same style. So anyway, because then I feel bad. But I love them. I would love to have a huge collection of them, but it's never going to happen. Um, because then I feel bad. I didn't mean to go negative with this. I just, I, I love these bags. They're amazing. And definitely check them out. And, um, clearly I need to go to sleep. But, anyway, I have this channel, which is a channel that I'm just doing, like, iPhone videos on and iPhone vlogs and things like that. And then I have another channel that I'm doing more edited and like how to type videos and sit down videos and those. Um, so yeah, check that out, please. That'd be awesome. But anyway, I'm gonna go to bed. Bye right, guys, thank you for watching. Um, if you have any questions, if you wanna talk about purses, purses make me happy. Bye right, guys.